Hey, what's up? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a random image generator. Um, it will randomly select one of however many pictures um, that you want it to randomly choose. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. It's still on a move, but it'll be over soon, so I'll be uploading vid videos regularly um, in the near future. So, Go to Xcode. Create a new project. Uh, single view or view based will be fine. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do this. Just call it random images or whatever you'd like to call it. And click next. And create. So, first of all, we have to um, import our images. I have three right here. But you can have as many as you'd like. Just select all of them. And just drag them all into your project and just click finish and they're in your project now for the coding really easy um, so we're going to jump right into our view controller dot h and after the UI view controller I'm going to do open curly brackets and close them if they're not already there and in between those brackets we're going to do uh, for a place where the image is actually going to be displayed which will be IB outlet, it'll be UI image view, and let's keep it simple and call it image view, or whatever you'd like to call it. So that's that, that's where the image is going to be displayed. And then we're going to do an action for when you press the button, it's going to display another image randomly, um, in no particular order. Hence, randomly. IV action, randomize colon ID sender semicolon so that's just gonna be our action so now we're done in the dot m dot h sorry and we're gonna jump into our dot m you can just paste that um, the action and instead of a semicolon you're gonna do open curly brackets and now we're gonna do a couple lines of code it's gonna be really easy so first is gonna be uh, an argument uh, for um, to randomize it. So we're going to do int. The reason we're doing int is because then we're going to say how many pictures we have. And then we're going to say to randomize it. Int and whatever you want to call it. Uh, random images equals rand because rand is an int and then percent and then the number of images as I have three um, or however many you have if you have seven type seven so I have three if you have a hundred type a hundred whatever so you can call it whatever you like so int random images rand um, pr open parentheses close parentheses and uh, percent and then num the number of your images so then we're gonna do a switch statement switch and what we called that we called it random images and that's telling it to randomize the images and uh, now here's where we're gonna tell it to set the image view to the image randomly so um, the case does not start at one it starts at zero you can delete the default break and then here will be your statements and that means we're done break means we're done and uh, we're just gonna copy this for how many however many pictures you have so I have three real simple you can just do this pretty much forever too so after the case zero we're gonna do image view which is our image view dot image so the image of the image view equals uh, and it doesn't have to be in any particular order equals UI image image named and then the name of the image mine's nature 5jpg so we're gonna do nature 5.jpg again 
no, it does not have to be in any particular order. We can copy this, paste it into the next one, and it into the next one. All we have to do is just change the name of the image. And then again, uh, just change it one more time. Some one. I don't know why I named them like that. So here we're just basically telling it argument for to randomize it. And here we're going to tell it to set it to these images uh, randomly. Okay. Now uh, let's jump into our XIV interface builder. And um, let's drag in a round rect button and an image view of no particular size, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, I'm going to do image, random image. Now we're going to jump into File Zoner, go to your connections, drag the image view. To the image view, drag randomize to random image and touch up inside. So that's all we need to do. You can play around with the interface, you can build and run, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I don't want it on the iPad. It's easier. So here we go random image. And as you can see, it might select it twice or it might go to a different one it's just totally random as you can see and that's how to make a random image um, generator so have fun with that thank you for watching and uh, see you later